What's up guys, this is Valermone, and I wanted to talk about my, um, about the event that's happening, uh, the Critical Theory, hosted by the Equip community, again, an another reminder of that, that's going to be on September 17th and 18th, I'll leave some information about that in the description, but, so, okay, wanted to practice some of my ideas on critical theory, but before I wanted to do that, I kind of wanted to say that, you know, even before we talk about critical theory, I think the big problem or the biggest problem or maybe even the bigger problem is this culture war. I mean, have you, have you heard of that? Or have you heard that term? This culture war is, instead of looking at um, situations, ideas, theories, or, or any thought, we're actually listening for uh, buzzwords. We're listening for um, key phrases that clues us into what side you're on. Are you a blood or a crip? I mean, are you a Republican or a Democrat? Are you um, conservative or progressive? Now, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Okay. If I said to promote capitalism and a free market, Instead of schools being um, funded by property taxes, every school should be paid the same amount of money, a base funding, and then each family or child should receive a credit or a voucher, what, whatever you want to call it, to go to their school of choice. And in that way, we have this free market, we have schools competing and being competitive for each other, and you can go to whatever school you choose. Boom. That sounds like capitalism, and a, lip, and a progressive might sound like, oh, no, you know, no, you know, completely against it, you know, just because I said capitalism. Now, hold on for a minute. Listen to this. In an effort to eliminate systemic racism, we should have all schools paid the same and give each home or student a voucher so that they are no longer oppressed by the school or the um, property taxes that only bolsters rich communities. But now these children and families can go to whatever uh, school that they see fit. Now I sound woke. Now conservatives are like, oh no, it's not systemic racism. It's it's not, you know we need to. Now look now now if you can just stop for a minute, stop for a minute. Don't look at it as as a conservative idea. Don't look at it as a progressive idea. Just is this a good idea? Is it? One of them probably made you mad, one of, or not made you mad, but made you think like, hmm, one of them probably made you think like, yeah. <laughs> I did the same thing. I just changed some of the, free, uh, the key terms and phrases. Is it a good idea or isn't it? I think the culture war is the real problem. Something really important we can use when we're talking to somebody about anything, you know, whether it's religion or politics or any hot button uh, topic, is to look for what people are really saying. Right now, the discernment is to find, figure out what team are, are people on. Are you on my team? Or are you are you on their team? But now, we need to turn our discernment to a different. Uh, spectrum. Now look. 
instead of figuring out what team somebody is on, try to critically think, like, is this a good idea? You know, how can I benefit this, benefit from this? If somebody says it's systemic racism, try not to get stuck on that. Try to say, okay, they say it's systemic racism, but is it a real problem? It might be. Um, <clears throat> have discernment. Uh, have mercy on people. Don't be proud. Please be humble. Always look for uh, some common ground, commonality. Let me know what you think. Um, hopefully you can, uh, hopefully you will be at the conference and you will see some more of my, my ideas and uh, some of the other people's ideas as well. If you're not fighting, you're dying. Keep up the battle.